Hi guys, welcome. If you're just joining me on the channel, thank you for finding me. If you are returning, thank you for your support. This will be for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. And please look at your Barnes placement. This is what the reading is essentially for. It's in the Show More section, and you can see where Mars is located in your birth chart. You can follow the link and find it very easily. So we can see how this Mars event of the Blood Moon, um, the Blood Moon eclipse on July 27th. So this is also going into Leo season, by the way. And then we have Mars being closest to Earth uh, between the 27th and the 30th, where it will shine bright in the sky. So let's see, guys. So this is for Leo. This is for Leo. How will the Mars storm? Event Leo. The Mars storm. The deck Leo. Guys, I've shuffled these cards earlier and cleaned them for about two hours. That's not a joke. So let's see. This is for Leo. We're starting off with the Princess of Cups. I feel like the Leo is caught in a type of whirlwind. Perhaps still holding on to some things from a past relationship. Perhaps playing with the ideal that somehow they can work out something with someone from the past. It feels like it's from the past. It feels like being caught up in the past and um, perhaps this Mars uh, storm and energy, the winds of change, the cosmic winds of change that are kind of riding on this uh, Mars storm. Now, guys, let me be correct, because I do know cosmology, and I know, in theory, there's no way that we have any impact from this storm on Mars that the dust actually reaches Earth. But I'm saying from a metaphysical standpoint and from a multidimensional standpoint, I'm imagining it so, because for me, it is relevant. So I feel like where the Mars energy may bring in, bring in some opportunities for the Leo. The Leo is uh, more recognizing aspects from the past in their relationships than from the present. And they're thinking more about the past perhaps than the future. Look at that. We have the three of swords. So again, remembering past heartaches, um, perhaps turning down some offers that are coming through because they would like to avoid heartache not believing so much in love, not believing and trusting so much in people. So there is something about a lack of trust here. And I feel like the Mars storm and energy will perpetuate this for the Leo right now. Let's see where this is going because I do feel a positive slant to this somehow. We have the prince, the prince of swords here. I feel like this is um, dist distracting, the Leo is distracting themselves with uh, the mundane. They're distracting themselves with anything else <laughs> besides being in a relationship right now. It's just not their main focus. I feel like more of the focus is on them. More of the focus is on them, how they can fix things for themselves. And this Mars storm will continue this focus on themselves. This is not necessarily a negative thing. But there seems to be very little interest in trying to start a new relationship. It's more recapping what happened and trying to figure it all out, essentially. I'm also getting something about a breakthrough with this. Prince of Swords here. There's a type of breakthrough in this, a practicality to it. We have the Knight of Pentacles here in the area of work. Money coming in slower than the Leo would like. Not being able to spend as much as they would like, especially in their birthday month. And their solar return. Feeling some slight limitations around money and the growth of their money. We have the Ten of Wands here. 
Again, this is an area of work and um, career opportunities. Again, just feeling like uh, that they have some limitations there, that the money's not coming in the way that they would like. And look at that, we have the hermit. So again, this is hearkening back, even though it's in the work sector, it feels to me like it's hearkening, hearkening back more to this introspection for the Leo energy. There's a type of introspection riding on the back of this storm. And they are building up and getting some ideas about their next move. Yeah, they're getting ideas about their next move. Look at that. Major Arcana, the Chariot. This is for the outcome, guys. So yeah, they're getting some ideas about their next move. And I want to say that the storm is going to bring in... It, it feels to me like the, the Leo is wanting to move locations or move up locations or maybe look for work in a different location. And this is their main priority. It's not so much about relationships right now for them. This is not where their main focus is. It's about them and their life and trying to um, possibly even repair some damage from past relationships. Like, um, look at this, because this is something that's also coming through now. Look how similar these cards are, guys. Do you see how in this Prince of... This Prince of Swords, this is kind of a broken type of a character who's fragmented and trying to put it all together and keep it all together. And they need focus, but they're constantly, these little guys at the bottom, I feel like they're constantly making mistakes and errors because they're acting too quick. And then we have this mastery. There's mastery here. Mastery of self, even, you could say. And there's also a type of uh, taking the next step or moving to the next level. Something about moving to the next level here. There can also be something about promotions here. If in general your work life is going well. But there's not much about love here, guys. I'm sorry to disappoint if that's what you were looking for. Let's see if we find anything else in our confirmation here. Then we're going to go ahead and close out the reading. This is going oddly quick for the Leo. We have the Ten of Swords. This is in the areas on top of the Three of Swords. So again, this is like still a bit heartbroken, but it feels more heartbroken about things that have already happened than what is happening now. And just trying to recover and put it all back together. Get it together. They're trying to get it together. We have, look at that, the Ace of Cups on top of the Princess of Cups. Missing um, a... It's not really a person. It's not necessarily a person. It's like the potential of what someone, what they wanted someone to be. The potential of what the Leo wanted someone to be. They're missing this idea of love and how things could have been with an impossible character. And somehow they still have love in this place for what could have been. But they're moving away from this. And they're realizing that they have to be practical, but therefore they're turning things more for, look at that major arcana. This is on top of the Prince of Swords. They're turning things more to a basis point of them. Probably even trying to reconnect with their own spirituality. And they're, they're gaining from this in a way. They're feeling better. They're feeling better about who they are as a person as well. They're unlocking something in themselves as well. Yeah. We have Major Arcana, the Tower. This is in the area of work next to the Ten of Wands. Um, again, the money's just not coming in the way they would like. Uh, let's see. I want to pull a few more before I make a final assessment on this. We have the Two of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. I find it interesting how these cards are kind of matching up with the same suite. Um, doing a lot to kind of move things in the area of money, but yeah, it's like um, hand to mouth. As you get it in, as the money come, comes in, it's going back out again. And this is really bothersome for the Leo energy because they do look. I'm going to go ahead and take this because this is on the bottom of the deck. And as you know, we already have the chariot here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take this because I did look at it and see that. I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to pull one more. But they're worried about this. The Leo is worried about this. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles again, guys. So we're just getting a lot of repetition of the energy. The money's just coming in a little bit slower than they would like, than they figured it would go. But it seems to me that the Mars storm is going to bring a shift in this somehow. Or maybe there's a link between how the Leo is feeling internally, emotionally, mentally, even physically, that they feel like as they get it together, or if they start to get it together in this way, this will unblock, this will unblock kind of this absence that they have of the level and type of money that they want i'm going to go ahead and end the reading on this my dear leos look at that we have major arcana temperance so it seems to me that the possibilities are there on this storm to make some kind of a move that will be beneficial for the leo surrounding but it's like they have to get it together within themselves first they have to let some things go they have to reconcile some things within themselves they have to work on their health they have to make sure they're taking care of themselves. This is also something about taking care of yourself. Yeah? Taking care of your fitness. Taking care of your diet. Showing that you love yourself. Treating your body like a temple. Look at this major arcana, the hero font. Regarding your body as a temple in every respect. And then from there, things are going to perpetuate a positive change look at the two chariots in the temperance major arcana you're gonna you're gonna be able to get things off the ground leo i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there thank you for joining me for this special report for the mars storm and stay strong guys see you next month Bye bye